and welcome back to a new video on this channel I haven't posted for quite a while but I've got some lovely things that I've been purchasing over the last few months I've got some art supplies and some beautiful colouring books so I'm going to start with this package which is from Carolina Kubikowska and as you can see it's all absolutely beautifully packaged and there's um, a lovely little business card. It's so beautiful with a glossy finish, which is one of her artworks. A little thank you card. And then into the first item, this is the latest postcard pack. So I think this is about five or six postcard packs that she's brought out now. And this is the newest one. And it's in a beautiful cover as usual and you usually get some colour and postcards and there's always something else and it's something different in each one so this one's a weekly planner so as you can see there's lots and lots of pages and these are the actual colour and postcards and that one there with that I think it was like a moth or a bee that was my favourite but they're all absolutely beautiful typical um, Carolina, Kubis Carolina Kubikowska art just divine okay and then this one is a large hardback book and it's got Carolina's work in but it's also got the work of quite a few other artists and all the pictures are beautiful so it's called Lady Spring and it's a lovely high quality book those are all the artists yeah and it's just absolutely beautiful so I'll just give you a little quick flick through some of the pictures all very different styles of art but all really really lovely so next I got this absolute bargain uh, guess how much I love you colour and book so this is a really famous children's book and the artwork in it is just oh my god it's just so stunning so the made a colour and book um, and it was retail price 9 99 and I got it for £4 in the works. So it's just absolutely beautiful. It's got lovely like glossy pictures on the front. It's a really high quality book, an absolute bargain for £4. Um, there's quite a lot of repeat patterns in and there's pictures from the book as well. Um, and I just thought it was gorgeous. And then look at these beautiful stickers on the back page it's so lovely so onto some art supplies and then I've got some more colouring books to show you at the end which I'll show you much faster than those ones so I got these castle art pastel colours and I must admit I was really tempted because of the beautiful tin um, it's just this tint is just stunning the picture on the artwork on the front is just lovely um so everything feels like really high quality the tin and then there's like this information these pamphlets and there's even a tutorial to do the artwork on the cover of the tin like a step-by-step -step tutorial um i mean it's just one kind of sheet so i'm not sure how detailed that's going to be there's a swatch card for all the colours and then there's this little mini magazine um, it's got quite a lot of tips in quite a lot of information actually on shading and colour theory and stuff like that and then there's also some more tutorials there's this lovely rose tutorial that's the cover tin picture and that zebra so yeah everything seems really high quality the tin and all the pamphlets but the pencils do feel a bit cheap they feel very lightweight 
and as you can see that one there was actually split um, it was quite obvious as well I don't know how that's got through quality control so those are the two trays they're all pastel colors and I found them to be lovely and soft um, it's no complaints really but I have only swatched them out I haven't actually used them much uh, I did use them a little bit in the guess how much I love you book and I'll show you that in a minute but I was only colouring very lightly um, yeah they just feel dead soft and the colours are absolutely divine especially these kind of blues and turquoises they're just beautiful really really lovely colours I was really pleased with them so that's all the colours and then I just was just wanted to have a little play around with them so this is kind of all I've done with them so far I was just colouring this easy repeat pattern in the I guess how much I love you book and yeah they seem, they seem quite good um there's, there isn't any dark colours so I was using some other pencils as well I think that's a polychromos I'm using there and I also yeah this is a Karen Dash but for the, the green leaves and the blue um, I used the Castle Art ones and I can't say I found any problems with them they laid down really smooth so yeah I mean yeah so I don't think you could use them on their own because they're all light colors you know you do you you would kind of need to use them alongside other pencils which is great because quite often there isn't many pastel pencils in pencil sets and then the next ones I got are the new black widow ones which was the dragon set um so these I'm pretty sure these are just to add to the other Black Widow sets because they're mainly kind of like well I'll show you they're like pinks and oranges there's a lot of pinky colours there um, hardly any blues and just some greens and browns so they're obviously just to add on to all the other sets so I'm going to try these ones out in this Spring Ladybug just gonna have, just have a little play with them see what they're like so that's actually quite translucent it's not covering the pen lines which is good for this type of book because there's a lot of um, sketch lines and it's really nice that they don't cover up with these pencils and for a green it feels quite soft for a green I'm gonna add a little bit of lilac to tone that down I'm just putting a few little light layers and it seems to be layering nicely and it's staying nice and translucent which is lovely um, I wouldn't be able to do this with Prismacolor because they're more opaque so although I do love the Prismacolors just like all the different type of pencils they just all have different um, like pluses and minuses that they're, they're very different so I'm trying to make it a little bit more interesting by adding some different colored layers over the top I think it looks really nice it makes it look a little bit more realistic doesn't it now, there isn't a black in this set because I think they're just colors that they were maybe lacking in the other sets so it's pretty heavy on pinks so possibly the other sets were kind of lacking. Um, I do have the other sets, but I haven't used them much. So I'm just going to create a little bit of a shadow. So I'm just using this dark green. So there's actually no, I was going to do blue sky, but there's actually no, no blue really. Actually, this one looks... There's no, there's, see there's no blue, that, that's like lilac in real life, that one. And this one looks like a turquoise. But if you look at the end, it's pretty blue, isn't it? Yeah, I do quite like these pencils. I love how translucent they are. 
they're just not covering that line work up at all it's not easy to find a pencil that's as translucent as this that's really like that lays down so soft and smoothly I'm going to add a little bit of this orange petal over the top as well just to tone it down a bit because I don't want it to really be that blue yeah I think that's given it like you know more of a can you see how that's kind of like bright bluey purple and that's kind of like just taking the saturation out of the blue and these little patches of orange um, hopefully they'll, they'll actually look nice what a beautiful picture this is isn't it it's so nice Just received a little package from Jackson's. So I placed a little order a couple of days ago for some lovely little watercolour paints. So I'm guessing that's what this is. Yeah. So it's the little schminky sets of super granulating paints um, and they brought out these tiny little 5mm sets. So I've got the Deep Sea, the Galaxy, the Glacier and this is the newest set called Haze. There are two more sets that were out of stock which I do plan on getting. Um, I've ordered one of them because one of them, the, the Forest set, and the Tundra set were out of stock. So then after I'd ordered this, the next day the Forest set was in stock, so I've ordered that. And I'm still awaiting the Tundra set to come back into stock. So this is the, so these are the colors on the Hairs set. Here's pink, here's blue, here's indigo, here's brown, and here's black. Oh, so cute, these little boxes. Cute little tubes. So that's those and I also ordered and I also ordered some fixative spray just to spray over soft pastels. Because I recently got some soft pastels from my artful box and I didn't have any fixative spray. So I went for this Winsor & Newton because this one was, I mean they were so expensive, some of them were like £17 for a tin. This was I think one of the, it wasn't the absolute cheapest but this one was about £7, £7 something which is still pretty expensive <laughs> just for a tin of some kind of spray. Okay so the other sets have now arrived. So these were the four sets that I originally bought that I've just showed you and the forest set was on the way and that's now arrived. So those are all five different types of green which is lovely and then the, sun, the tundra set finally came in stock and those are the colours in the tundra set which is really nice and then they brought out three new ones so there's the volcano which are all kinds of you know reds and yellows volcano colours and also this desert set so those are the colours in the desert set and lastly a shire set which is more greens another five greens so 
just comparing them to the other ones you can see that that's 10 completely different grains which is absolutely brilliant and actually so there's nine sets in total but two of them are actually limited edition sets so I'm not sure how long they'll be available for but I'm really glad that I've got them and they'll probably last me for years and years and years because I mean watercolour paint just lasts so long and I know they're only tiny little tubes but yes yeah, so that's the haze set and the deep sea set those are both limited editions and those are the beautiful colours so I'm glad I've got them so I'm just going to just do a little demonstration just of a couple of the colours because there's 45 colours in total I'm not swatching all them out it'll take um, too long and see if you don't know what granulating colours are that actually if you can you can see the pattern in the paper the texture because they've got like a little kind of particles in the paint and it doesn't totally dissolve and it falls into the cracks in the paper so if you've got a nice textured paper the the texture just absolutely looks beautiful because it's different colors as well usually like two or three colors so like maybe one color would fall into all the cracks and then the other one maybe wouldn't they kind of separate on the paper and they look beautiful so i've got a stack of coloring books that i've purchased kind of since my last video which was quite a while ago i'll just go through what i've purchased a couple of these i did unbox on my other channel but um this is more for color in this channel so i'm just going to go through them all so i got mandalin by clara markova oh, sorry no <laughs> by maria troll which is gorgeous the cover's gorgeous them beautiful hardback book with little shiny silver bits on and of course absolutely divine pictures by Marie Troll absolutely lovely they're just gorgeous then I, I did get all of the Rita Berman books that I could find so there's actually eight books in total. I think I've got them all. They were really great price. They were all kind of between, I think four and five pound each. A couple were maybe seven pound. Um, so I bought four and then I bought another batch of four so that I've got them all. And I got these because of Lucy from, Lucy Just Adds Colour. She absolutely loves these books and her and Kay from Colour and Care are just my two main enablers. I end up buying tons of stuff after watching the videos so she absolutely adores this artist and she's right the pictures are just absolutely gorgeous and the paper is so lovely to colour on I don't know what type of paper it is but it's just brilliant so I've got the Europe one I got this one which I think is all um, under the sea themed. Kind of ocean themed. Oh, I coloured that little that little one on the front there. I haven't quite finished it. It's such a beautiful book, that one. Um got this one, which I think is probably the summer one. I'm not quite sure because I don't know the language. I'm guessing that's a summer one. This one is just kind of um, like a woodland. One of them beautiful, beautiful covers again. Beautiful pictures. Started colouring that. I was just test. I was just testing out some pencils. Yeah, and I started colouring this as well, um, haven't finished it, but yeah, I found the paper absolutely lovely to work on with coloured pencils. Um, then the winter one, 
done a couple of little things on there. This must be the autumn, I think. And the summer. Oh no, the other one must have been spring, because this must be the summer one. So beautiful. And then, what is this one? I'm totally confused, I don't know. Yeah, so these are the, these four are the seasons, the di four different seasons. With autumn and winter, summer and spring. So I thought that was a summer one, but I'm not quite sure. It, but it's um, not, it's quite a thick one, that one. So that's the Rita Berman books. And then I also got this. Saucer is. So I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. But this has got some gorgeous pictures in. Obviously witch themed. But really nice. Two Colour and Heaven books. I got the gorgeous Sontaro London because I've got lots of pencil cases and stuff with this artwork on. So I absolutely love it. So I was delighted to find that you could order this. I just ordered this on the website. I don't, they're not the ones that you get monthly. I think they're like specials. So it was that one. And then I also got the Holly Hobby one. Holly Hobby, it's so lovely. So there's those ones which are kind of grayscale and then there's some that are just the outlines but they're all so lovely. That's the Holly Hobby. I also got this, I, this was gifted to me by Susan so thanks very much if you're watching Susan. I did already show it on my other channel. Um, because I was just doing a unboxing because she sent me a lovely package with some a couple of colouring books. There was this one and uh, Kirby Roseanne's book and she also sent me some beautiful little cactuses which I've got on my bedroom windowsill. So I haven't coloured in this one yet but I'm going to do one soon. I also got Joanna Rasford 30 Days of Creativity. I don't think I've done anything in this yet, but I'm a big Joanna Rasford fan, so I collect all the books. The only the only trouble is with the books, that's gone yellow. All the pages seem to go yellow quite quickly. I don't recall it being yellow when I first bought it. Yeah, and if you look at it against that, it's kind of discoloured. And I've noticed some of her other books do as well. Then I got this, these ones um, I got on Etsy, I sent off for them, they were quite expensive. But to just purchase one off Etsy, the postage is so high, it works out better value to get more than one, so I got three. Right, I totally cannot remember the name and it's, oh, there we go, Ken Matsuda. Ken Matsuda. These pictures are gorgeous. So the front is some of the pictures already kind of coloured. Some little tips on watercolour painting. And pencil, looks like these have been done with those have been done with watercolour and pencil. Or oh yeah, some done with watercolour, some done with pencil. And the pictures are just Absolute work of art. Look at that snail. It's just gorgeous. Look at that beautiful bee. Really need to do one of these soon. It's just stunning. Absolutely. It's just that one. 
And then I also got the Nico Nico Kurenberg, which is really cute. Loads of cute cats. I don't know, I might have already showed this in a video, you know, because I got it quite a while ago. Really, really cute scenes. Very much like Rhapsody in the Forest and and the other one. Min Minuet de Bonheur, something like that. Very similar to that. And then this is, yeah, I have already showed this. I'm sure I've already showed this one. Symphony of Cute Animals. Yeah. I definitely showed that in another video, I think. Then this is quite a new one. I think this was just came out last month. Wildwood Witches Special. So this is full of lovely witch based pictures. And I've started I've started colouring this one. I'm doing it in watercolour. I've traced it onto trace some paper and then put it on some watercolour paper. So I'm in the middle of painting that and I'm planning on making a video just with with that painting. I'm a little bit lost because it's such such a long time since I made a video with colouring books and new supplies on this channel. I'm kind of a little bit lost as to what I've already showed. Um, but I don't think I've showed this one. I got this absolutely beautiful book on Etsy. This was another book I got on Etsy and it's gorgeous. Popel of Chimney Town and look how detailed that is. <laughs> that is ridiculously detailed. It needs literally to be coloured in fine liners I think. And that, uh, there's actually a storybook that you can get to look at the colours. It's like a real book, a real story book, and they've made a colouring book out of it. So that's that's the front of the book. It's kind of in that blue colour. And these are all the pictures, what they actually look like, what the original pictures look like. So you could follow those colours, but it is incredibly detailed. I'm pretty sure that will put a lot of people off. Look how tiny them details are. I, I don't know if I'll ever colour this, but that's just crazy. They're so tiny. They're not all, and look at that, the background. I, even the background is really tiny. This one. It's just nice to have because it's a beautiful book. That one's not so bad. They're not all as detailed, but there's a lot of them are. But it's just such a lovely book to own, whether I colour it or not. And I also got these two books. Um, I got the new mythographic Wild Winter, which is just another absolutely divine, gorgeous book. Look at that. Kind of a little moth and then them huge wings. And I have started colouring one of these ones. There we go. I'm painting it with watercolour paints. I've done the background and this is in a beautiful colour. This is my own watercolour paint that I sell in my online shop. And that one is called Glisten and Surf and I'm using that as a background. And as you can see, it's going to be beautiful when it's finished. Um, and then I got this Kleidomorphia. I think this is Kirby Ross Hans latest book. I think this is the last one. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the newest one that I've got. And I know there's another one on, I've got on 
you can pre-order it on Amazon. Don't think it's out yet, although it could be on Book Depository. But just absolutely another gorgeous one. Um, I've been colouring this, but I haven't quite finished it yet. I've still got a few bits to finish. And I decided I just wanted to go for like a really pale wishy-washy look. So I used Stedler pencils, which are quite hard. Is it Stedler? Yeah, I think Stedler coloured pencils um, and they're pretty hard. Um, but they always give a really nice smooth finish when they're really hard pencils. And that's the kind of look I wanted, kind of like a light, very smooth look. Um, yeah, so that's how far I am with that one. And the last one is The Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. Which is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so that's all the colouring books that I've purchased over probably the last year or so. I'm just going to see when my last video was on this channel. So I've just got out of the way of colouring. I wasn't really, I haven't really been colouring, not very much, just little bits here and there. I just get kind of like get out of the habit and then I come back to it and get back into it again, which is what I'm obviously doing now. I still buy the books, but I don't always colour them so my last video was 30th of April so it's over um, 11 months ago since my last video and yeah I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give it a like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel it lets YouTube know that people like the videos okay so thank you very much for watching